Good morning, everyone. We are jumping in nice and early. I would say bright and early, but it's not a bright day over here. It's a kind of a rainy morning, kind of cloudy. So we're jumping in gloomy and early, <laughs> but that just that doesn't sound right. Let's get into it. All right, starting off as black. I've got my morning coffee here. Okay, this is definitely the most common opening, I think. Three knights opening. Now, what do I do here? Uh, <laughs> right after I say this is the most common opening. The problem is when you're playing as black, there's so many openings that you have to know. It's actually hard to keep track of them all. I don't know. I'm going to bring my bishop out. It's probably not a great move. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Whoa, we are completely symmetrical here. One of the things when I'm when I'm playing as black is I don't want to get like Oh gosh, I'm not concentrating. I'm concentrating on my move. And instead of explaining my move, I'm trying to explain something unrelated. Um, anyway, I wanted to guard this pawn because I want to jump over here and attack this bishop. Okay, so this is the kind of... Look at that. It's a diamond shape that I'm looking at. Uh, as soon as he moves that pawn, his bishop can't escape. So unless he pushes this pawn forward right now, my next move is going to be jump there. Now, the other thing is he might attack my bishop which would be annoying. That would be annoying. Anyway, so what I was saying is there's so many openings that you have to know as black. Hold on. Is he actually... Wait, what's he doing? Oh, because I'm not guarding this pawn. He is, he's coming after me. He's going to jump right here with his bishop and fork me. Well, that's not very nice. That's not very nice, is it? Oh goodness, my opponent is wide awake this morning and playing quite well. Um, boy, that is super annoying. What do I do here? I wanted, I brought this rook here so that I could guard this pawn and move this knight. So I don't want to move him back right away. Let's go like, this is probably a terrible move, but I'm going to do it. Here we go, right there. Oh, super annoying. Oh, no. Okay, well, we can deal with that. But now, now how do we deal with it? Oh boy. Let's kick the knight out of here. I think he sh my opponent should have taken with the pawn because that would have come with a tempo on my knight and he could have pushed it with an attack on my rook, well, I would have just taken. Maybe not. Maybe this was fine. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is an awkward setup. Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I'm probably not going to do this again. What I was saying at the beginning when I got so rudely interrupted by my opponent 
there's so many openings you have to know as black. That's the biggest problem playing as black is you have to respond to what your opponent plays. And so you have to know like 20 different openings or something, you know, because you see all kinds of crazy things. You see the knights coming out, the bishop and knight coming out, the queen and knight coming out. Just like, it's a mess, you know? All right, well, that was, um, that was annoying, not gonna lie. Let's just drop back. Uh, I need to develop some pieces, guys. Hmm, let's drop, um, hold on, what's he gonna do? He's gonna push this pawn, obviously, that's why he brought this guy out, but that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna take, take, and then take with an attack on his queen, so he's probably not gonna do that. I don't know what he's gonna do, but let's, oh, he's gonna jump this pawn forward. So let's counter that, because I don't want him to kick this bishop off unless it's with this pawn, which is going to, you know, I, I can take, oh, oh, oh goodness, what? I don't want to take because that's going to bring this pawn out and he's going to have like a checkmate attack on me. Well, not, no, it's not a checkmate attack. But it is scary. <laughs> he's going to be able to come right down here with check. Um, how about we just bring our queen here, guard the bishop? I don't know. I don't know if this makes any sense, guys. Okay, good. That's what I was... Wait, that's not what I like. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to take it. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I think I'm getting crushed here. That's what's happening. Now we can hit the queen. Ha ha! Ha ha! The joke is on you, my friend! <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure I'm losing just because of that undeveloped bishop. He's just gumming up the works, you know? This guy right here. Uh oh. Um now he's gonna he's gonna come up here and attack me. I've got a defender though. I've got one defender here. So wait, what's he really attacking? Let me think for a second. Uh I can take his queen. What am I doing? Yeah, that, oh man, I'm glad I didn't miss that, guys. Oh my gosh, that, <laughs> I completely forgot that I jumped my knight there with an attack on his queen, and so did my opponent. All right, let's check this out. I have a feeling I was losing until the end because of that bad rook move. I was definitely losing at some point. Okay, let's check this out real quick. I'm gonna try to go fast. The opening I've been through so many times now. 
Okay, hold on. So the rook move was not a blunder, but the computer prefers this, which is again exact mirroring. Interesting. See, I'll tell you the reason I didn't do that was because if I go like that, now he can do this dastardly plan. See that? And and my bishop cannot get a like can't get away. And look, that's the best move. What about if I go like that? Is that also the best move? Ha! <laughs> no, it's a terrible move. The computer's like, dude, who cares about your bishop? Don't worry about it. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I tried something and it did not work. Yeah, now that was a bad move. It's saying I should just go back. And yeah, what was it here? Why is that such a bad move? That's an actual blunder. Look at that. Wow. So it went, it jumped up to plus 3.67. That means I'm going to lose an entire piece, basically. So let's see how my opponent... Oh, that move was good. So I take. He takes. That was... Oh, yep, yep. That's what I was saying. He should take with the pawn, and then he can... He can do something. What was it? Let's see. If he takes here... <laughs> Yeah, that's just rough. Maybe I would go like that? Oh, it's saying attack the bishop over on this side? All right, that was a mess. So I did blunder, guys. But luckily, my opponent did not see it. And I played the best move. I said, let's get that knight out of there. And now I've got a slight advantage, very slight, probably because um, this bishop can't get out yet. My king is obviously quite exposed. Yeah, that was not a good check. I just was like, whatever, I'll just, I'll just get out. Aha, so I need to get this bishop out. I'm not playing well. Yep, that hurt. And then here is the... Look, it's already a minus 3.4. So that's pretty good, guys. So my idea here was he has to move his queen. And he has to be a little careful or I can jump here with check and, and pick up the bishop. Like, it's, a, it's kind of a mess of a position for white suddenly. That's why I think the score is so high. Let's show the line. Ah. Wait, what? Oh yeah, so I took a pawn. Wait, how did I win a piece? Oh, because I traded a piece. Wait, the computer said I would win a piece. You should end up, no, no, it says win material. So I only end up winning this pawn. That's, that's not as good as I thought it was. But I actually ended up winning the queen. <laughs> So that was really good. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Look at that. It gives me an exclamation mark. Like, wow, how did you find that move? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, look, there was only one good move, and you found it. Yeah, it was taking the queen that my opponent forgot about. <laughs> Thank you, though, computer. Anyway, let's continue. No point spending too much time on that. New game. Oh, guys, it's good to start the day off with a victory. Here we are as black again. So let me reiterate my point. I have to respond to my opponent, which means if you want to be good playing as black, you have to know like just a ton of different openings. You know what I mean? Now see, like this, I already have no idea. I don't know what this means. Is I guess this means he's gonna push up this pawn and take over the center, and like, I don't know the best way to respond to that. You know? Uh, 
So here's a, here's a thought, knight to here, so that if he pushes here, I take, he takes, and then I can take this, or I can take that with my queen. So let's give that a try. I don't know if this is best. I don't know. Oh, well now he can't bring his pawn forward. Okay. Interesting. I was not expecting that, guys. Let's bring our other knight out, and then I'm going to push this pawn forward. I don't, I don't know if this is good, bad, ugly. See, it's just so difficult when you... when you don't know the opening. Um, so what I'm thinking is, what am I thinking? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I probably need to bring my bishop out. So, hold on, I'm trying to think. He's got two pawns blocking his own bishop. So it would be kind of nice if I blocked that in. Look at that. Okay, this is just an idea. Let me know in the comments if this is a horrific blunder. But my idea is he's probably going to take, and I'm going to jump right in there with my knight and make his bishop move. So anytime I see an attack with tempo, I like it. That's kind of the mind of an 1100 ELO chess player. It's like, oh, I'm thinking more than one move ahead. I'm thinking two moves ahead. That guy was a good sport. Oh, I can't click it anymore. Never mind. I don't know if this button does anything, guys. Does anybody know how chess.com works with the good sport thing? If you click down arrow, it says, do you want to report or block? Does the up arrow do anything? Well, 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 my opponent is not taking the bait. That's very interesting. Uh, let me think here. Let me think. How about... How about, imagine this, what if I push this pawn up to here so that he can't push or bring his bishop out and pin my knight? And then the plan would be to castle queenside. Hmm, interesting. I don't want to take his pawn. Now if I take... Oh, that's why he brought his knight here. Ah. Okay, so guys, what happened just now, which I missed initially, he's got two attackers on this pawn. I've got two defenders. So wait, if he were to take, I would jump right... I would take with my pawn... Yeah, and he can't... Oh, but then I'm not attacking his bishop. That's the difference, guys. That's what's going on here. Now, I could... No, I'm not going to bring my bishop here. That's too easy to kick away. I could pin his knight, but that he's just going to kick me away again. Oh, this is, this is weird. This is weird, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna get this bishop out. Let's, let's do something like that, just to develop. Because I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. 
I feel like if I can keep this pawn here and this bishop is trapped, that's probably good. Okay, now I can't I can't jump in here or bring my bishop out. Oh, that's annoying. I can't bring my bishop out, guys. I could bring my bishop to here. It's guarded by this pawn. This pawn is still guarded. Oh, this is a little bit ugly. This is a little bit ugly. Uh, he's going to come out here, isn't he? With his He's going to push a pawn out to here. I take He takes this way. I take he takes I know he can't take I would take hmm okay I don't know I don't know oh boy this is getting very compli wait no if he takes with this pawn this pawn is already over here so I cannot recapture ooh this is a mess Um, so I do need to get this bishop out, and now I can't put him here with a pin. This guy's playing really well, I think. This guy is playing well. Maybe I should focus on getting castled. I don't want to get, I don't want to keep this bishop trapped, though. Let's go, let's go here. I'm going to castle this way, I think. Yeah, something, I think I've messed up. Something's going on here that I don't like. I don't like it at all, guys. He's going to come, he's going to jump out here, isn't he? Oh, man. This knight is, ah, I wish I had this pawn free. Well, uh, now that I think about it, if he jumps out here, I'm not going to take. I'm going to let him take, and then I can take with my bishop and still have a second defender for this pawn. So that's what I'm doing. What is happening here? This is such a strange opening. I don't know what's going on, guys. Let's see now. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to block that pawn from going. And now that's another square that his bishop can't jump into. So I'm I'm not even trying to attack him right now. I'm just trying to cut off his moves. Does that make sense? I, I don't think that's a good plan. I also took a square away from my knight. Hmm. took a square away from my knight, guys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder if it's time to take this pawn. Then he's going to take, and I'm going to jump in here with my knight, which is close to the edge, which might not be good. Or, wait, I can't jump there. He'd have a pawn here. He's going to take with this pawn. What am I talking about? Oh my goodness, what a mess. Look at this center, guys. No one has even taken a pawn. I need to get this knight out of the way so that I can push these pawns and that means I need to get this bishop out of the way. I should have come here guys. Um, I should have come here. 
Darn, that was a bad move. I should have moved my bishop there right away. I'm going to jump my knight over here. Because that's a nice square, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this bishop was a wasted move. I wanted I should I the reason I didn't was I wanted to have my queen guarding this pawn, but then I actually have this bishop and this knight guarding that pawn. So that was unnecessary. That wasted a move because it blocked a square from this knight. That's something I need to think about. I need to think um what where can my knight go? Oh, he just got a third attacker here. <gasps> oh, guys, what am I doing? I didn't even notice that. He jumped his knight here. And look at that. He's got two attackers okay how about first step wait should I attack his queen that doesn't really do much does it um I have to be careful because my bishop is trapped. Oh, but wait, I can... Oh, and he could fork. Oh, guys, I have to be super careful here. Now. Now, 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 now. Oh gosh, let's, um, let me think, if I take with this pawn, he's just gonna take it, right? Yeah, I've misplayed this, I'm sure. This is not good. I, do I want do I want his knight getting in here or should I just ignore it if I jump my knight here to get out of this pin let's give this a try I don't know if this is the right thing to do but I'm gonna give it a try it's like, yeah, you can go ahead, go ahead. You can either take. Take it, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to grab that. Take it and lose your bishop and make your king move. Or push and threaten my bishop but still you're going to lose your bishop and i am going to take that So if I were to jump here, he would probably block with a knight or something. 
Um, let's reinforce this guy. He's going to take my dark square bishop. So we traded bishops, but he... Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. His king is like out in the middle of nowhere. Can I do something about that? Let's see. If I jump here... I have a hit on that pawn, which is nice. Because queen is guarding, right? Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get our knight out of the way. Like, wait, before I do that, if I jump here and he pushes, where do I go? Well, I just take that pawn, guarded by my queen. Oh, but when... Yeah, let, let's give that a try. I'm going to get my knight out. I don't know what he's thinking about. He, if he doesn't, I guess he's worried. He's just thinking, wait, what's his, is his queen up to something? You know, what's going on here? But he really needs to take that bishop because otherwise, he's down a bishop. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> oh, wait. Why did. Guys, how am I down a full piece? Or I was almost down a full piece. What is going on? Why didn't... I did not realize that. He basically won a piece? How did that happen? Oh, I need to rewind. What happened? Take. 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 Oh my gosh, I lost a full piece, guys. That was a serious blunder. Oh my gosh, leave a comment if you saw that I was losing a full piece. Because <laughs> that, that completely escaped me, I'll be honest. What is going on? That is so crazy. Oh boy. I'm so cramped here, guys, and he's just gonna, he's just gonna push this stuff and come after me, isn't he? I can't get my queen up to here now. Um, let's do this, because <laughs> I want to get this pawn out of the way so that I can develop a bit. Oh, what a mess. I'm really glad my opponent didn't see that. I guess he got scared about my queen and knight lining up. But I think he should have taken my bishop. I, I can't believe I missed that. Guys, I was down a full piece. I should be down a full piece. That is crazy. What a blunder. Well, I guess we'll check the game review. Maybe there was something there. Maybe my opponent saw my threat better than I did. Uh, okay, so we'll, we're going to see what happened. In the game review. Ah. 
So he took, huh? Let us take with the Oh gosh. Well, does it matter? Let's take with the bishop. I don't know. He's got his pieces nicely coordinated. Like everything is attacking all of my stuff. So he's going to push, but I've got two pieces. Take. Yeah, that would be a mistake. If he wants to push there, that's a mistake, I think. That would be a big mistake, because here's what's going to happen. If he pushes, I'm going to take this pawn with check. He's probably going to move his king right there, because he doesn't want to block his rook. Then I'm going to take this pawn, which is guarded by my bishop. It's going to be a mess for him. I don't think he wants to get into that. So I'm going to bring my queen out here to attack this pawn. or to attack that square. Come on, the only reason to move the rook here is to push the pawn, right? Am I crazy? Why else did he do it? Oh, wait a minute. If I take that with check, he's going to just take it with his knight. What am I doing? Uh-oh. Well, still, it's a free pawn. He pushes, I take with my knight. And then if he takes, I take with my bishop and it's check. Okay, so it still works. It still works, I think. It's just a little different than what I thought. And I don't have that follow-up move because my knight will be gone. Ugh. Hmm. What a mess, guys. What a mess. I feel like this is a, a game of blunders by both of us. I think my opponent missed some stuff. What? Okay. My pieces are badly coordinated. My knight is blocking my bishop. He can't really move anywhere. Everything is guarded too well. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm just gonna, let's just get out of here. What do you think? Probably my only advantage is I can castle and my opponent can't. So let's do that. <laughs> let's castle. Boy, I I don't know what's going on. He's going to he's going to jump here with his knight and attack my queen, I bet. And 
Where can my queen even go? I think I'll go back to here. Oh, but then he's going to jump here and get my and put me in check. I should really push a pawn forward. If he doesn't jump here, and that means I shouldn't drop back. I need to go. If he jumps here, I need to go here or here. Offering a queen? No. Nope, that would also be bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like my accuracy is going to be like 50%. Yep, he found it. Uh, what do I do, guys? I think I have to just go here to guard to guard my pieces. You know, what else can I do? Now I'm gonna kick the knight and then I won't have to worry about this anymore, I think. Luckily, my opponent is not playing fantastically either. That's the only really good thing about this game, is I'm making blunders, I'm sure, but they're not being picked up on. So that's good. Oh man, so now if I go here, he's going to push this pawn. Oh, that is so annoying. Like seriously, dude? I should not have castled. As soon as I castled, my opponent really started focusing on this side. All right, I've got to block that pawn. And then he's probably just gonna push that pawn. Maybe I should have, okay, I'm gonna bring my bishop back to attack the knight maybe. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Hmm. Or I could have put my queen here. I wonder if that would have been better. Probably would have been better. Oh my goodness. Now what's that? That doesn't seem to do anything. Now, what is his queen no longer guarding? That's the question. Oh, guys, I'm like just dying here, aren't I? Um, how about if I move my queen off of there, like, Wait, no. First I need to push the pawn, and then I need to unpin. Or I could bring this knight over here. Should I do that? That that solves my problem with this knight who's kind of useless. Yeah, that's what I'm doing next.
Yeah, we're gonna bring our knight over to defend our king. That's a better square for my knight anyway. Because then I can jump up here. If he doesn't take, if he retreats, I jump here. That's a beautiful spot. Oh my gosh. Okay, check this out. Do I have a tactic? No, I don't. Never mind. I'm dying, guys. I think I might have lost this game, huh? All right, well, we're going to take... Now if he pushes, I'm going to take... <laughs> Aha! But now I can take his... I can take this. Yeah, I think my opponent messed up just now. But I do have to be careful here. So let us um, we need to we need to get off of this light diagonal because there's going to be a discovered attack against my queen. So I see that tactic. So I think I'm just going to move up. Like right here. That way he can't he can't do too much. <laughs> Hope my queen isn't trapped. That would be bad. No, okay, because I can go here, offer a queen trade. And he either has to take or move his queen, right? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna attack his queen, I think, right? Am I crazy here? This is a scary position. What? Um Um, attack the queen. That's all I can think of. Attack the queen. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying, guys. How did my king, who was safely castled, end up under much more severe threat than his king, who I got to move around and never castle? But look at him. He's living in a fortress, and my king is hanging on for dear life. Okay. Okay. So now... Let us... Now, what if I bring my queen here? Threatening... No, that's not going to do anything, is it? I could bring my king here. <laughs> I 
he's going to move this bishop somewhere, right? Threatening mate. So I do need to... Um... I kind of like this spot. I don't know. Is this a complete blunder, guys? Let's see. I'm going to go here because it sh at least his pawn is guarding me now, right? That That's good. That's really good. Oh, wait. He's going <gasps> to... He's going to go here with his bishop or he... Yeah, wait. No, I would just take with my queen. Never mind. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I don't know what's happening, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. I, I feel like I'm just moves away from checkmate, but I can't see it. So maybe I'm not. Maybe this attack is nothing. I really need to get my pieces over here. They're on the wrong side of the board. I was trying to attack his king, but I never put anything together. They're too uncoordinated. So I need to get them over here to defend my king. You know what I mean? Well, that was silly. Oh. Yeah. Because of this thing, right? Um... But, yeah, he's trying, he's like, come on, take my bishop. Take it. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to put his queen here. Hold on now, if I take with my queen, then I'm guarding this pawn, so he cannot do that. But he could put his queen here, but then I can just, I can just move. Let's give it a try. We're gonna take with the queen, because now we're still guarding this pawn. And I'm gonna go here. I guess. Let's go here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to take. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is okay or not. He's going to take... I'm going to put my queen there. He's going to take my bishop maybe, but then the threat is kind of over and I'm still up a few pawns. Oh, then he's going to also take my knight. Is he going to take my bishop? Yeah. Oh man, this is rough, guys. But he cannot take my knight yet, because I'm going to go like this. Uh-oh. Oh boy, I don't know what's happening. I think I'm losing. I have a feeling I'm losing. He's going to be up a piece now. <gasps> oh, I missed that. All right, yep, he won. I blundered like 10 times in that game. Let's check the review. I think I have at least five blunders.
Let's see. I can't believe I got so crushed. I thought I was doing okay at the first part of the game. I was like, oh, I wasted a move. Oh, man. So I blundered badly at the end, like really badly. Here I blundered. Here my opponent blundered. We, we both blundered. Only three blunders. Wait, no. Only one blunder? That's hard to believe, but four mistakes and six in a, That was a bad game. Let's quickly go through and see where the worst moves were. Okay, so that was a bad move. Wonder, should I have just taken? That was kind of the debate, you know? Maybe that's better. Let's see what it says. It's good. Okay, yeah, I should have done that then. Oh boy. Oh, what a mess. Uh-huh, and here's where I lost. I should have lost a piece. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Mistake, mistake, mistake. I should have kicked the knight, huh? Oh, duh, why didn't I do that? Oh, well, I was worried that he would kick my queen. Hmm. Ah, I should have dropped my queen back. Oh yeah, because I was worried that he was gonna come here with check and win my queen. But I could have moved my queen here, guarding the square, and getting out of the way, and protecting my king. Oh man, that's way better. Good job, computer. Um, Here, let me look at the review. I'm actually winning here, despite my many mistakes with my king. Good, I found the right move. Okay, I should have gone back. Ah, oh my gosh, I had a check. I had a check. Let's see what happens if I do that. Where does he have to move? He has to go down. Let's say he goes, I don't know, here. And now what? Now what? Now... Now what? Now what do I do? Hmm. I feel like maybe I should have brought this rook over. Nope, see, that's a big blunder. See guys, I would have lost this anyway, even if I found a even if I fixed a couple of my mistakes, it's still so complicated that I don't know what to do. So let's let me think. What what's the next thing I could try? How about if I just take that pawn? No, that's like checkmate, isn't it? No. Wait. Oh, it's excellent. Okay, and then he goes like this. I go like this. I think it's my only move. Forced, yep. And he goes like what? Um, I think he would have probably done... What would he have done? I think he would have... Gone like this? Oh, no, 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 that's right. Yeah, he got... that. This is kind of what happened. He went there. Now, what do I do? Should I just sack my knight? Should I just go like that or something? No. Oh, give a check. Give a check.
He has to move. Oh, but oh, I can't go there. Oh my gosh, that's really perilous for him. Hmm. Now do I give this check? And then he goes here. And I go here. No, I attack his queen. And then He's gonna go like here or something. Man, there's so many tactics here. How about if I give another check? Okay. Um, he has to move like that. Um, now what? <laughs> I don't know. This is, yeah, this is so complicated, guys, that I don't know what's happening. I guess I take the knight. Do I, do I take the knight? Yeah. Okay, boy. Oh, that was a harsh victory, or a harsh loss. I, I feel like I was blundering the whole game, even though it says I only had one blunder. That's hard to believe. One blunder, but four mistakes. Now those mistakes felt like blunders to me. I think that's why. I, I, uh, I played really badly, guys. That game was too complicated for me. I, I don't know what else to say. I just could not understand any position in the game. I kept making bad moves, and I lost. Well, I did get a victory, right? <laughs> let, me, let me double check. I think I won my first game, didn't I? Yeah, I won my first game pretty well. Look at that, 83%, but this game, 68%. How do I have these swings? Look, that's like yesterday. Yesterday I played 68%. Today I played 68%. That's terrible. You cannot win playing 68% accuracy. Um, I kind of want to do one more game. I know this video is getting kind of long, but I feel uh, I feel inspired to try one more time and try to get that 80%. So let's do it. Let's do it real quick. Oh, good. And we're playing... Oh, wait. No, we're not. <laughs> I thought that was the game. Got to click play first. Yeah, we are playing as white. So now we get to do the London system opening. Wish me luck. Also, I'm out of coffee. That's not good. <clears throat> Sorry, that's not good. I almost lost my voice for a second. Man, that was a rough game. That was demoralizing because I played so badly. We're getting a very normal opening here, guys. That's nice. Interesting. Let's bring this guy up. This is a very kind of standard London opening, except for this move that I've been introducing lately. I'm not, I mean, I'm not introducing it, but I've been playing it since I learned about it. Remember the idea, if they don't push this pawn too forward, then I push my pawn too forward. That's that's kind of the extent of my knowledge. I mentioned in one episode that I need to do more research on it, but I haven't. You know, you know how it is.
So let's see, my game plan here is maybe jump my knight in here. Because if he takes, then I take with the pawn and I kick this knight. And that knight is a, a good defender. He's guarding that square, because I'm going to get my queen and my bishop lined up very soon. You see that? Boom. Question is, should I do that first? No, he's just going to push that pawn if I do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure entirely what to do here. Kind of petered out with my knowledge like of the what I'm supposed to do. So now it's up to me. It's, it's all on me and that's not that's not good. Ah. Um yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do this so that if he takes, I open up my rook. And that's at least something, you know? Because then my rook and my bishop will be lined up already. So that's good. Huh. Okay, well now he's got to be careful because I'm attacking his queen or his knight with my queen. And giving myself an escape square. Let's do that. And we're hitting his knight. He's got to be careful here. There are threats being discovered with like every move. Every move, there's a new threat that you have to catch. So I bet he's going to put his pawn here to guard the knight. I don't think he's going to retreat his knight. Or maybe he will. Maybe he's going to drop his knight back to here. Okay, wow. Very interesting. That's actually annoying. I'm gonna take... Wait, I should set this up a little better. Um, I wanna take that pawn and then, and then be able to jump my knight in there, but I can't because Okay, let's try, oh boy, let me think. Actually, I think I'm gonna give up on that attack because he got his knight back here. And this is blocking my bishop anyway. So I'm just gonna castle and hope for the best. It's just a regular game of chess. I don't have a huge attack. Huh. All right, well, he wants to double his pawns. That's his business. Um, yeah, I don't know, okay, sure. I wonder if I should have dropped back to here. Because now he can take this. Hmm. Hmm.
Uh oh. Um, uh-oh. What's going on here? Um... I think I'll just drop back. I think that's okay to do. I'm gonna drop back. I don't I don't wanna lose my bishop, actually. I like my bishop. <laughs> and I don't I don't want if I take him, he'll just get his queen out and have his queen and rook lined up, which is never very nice. I don't see any advantage to taking him, you know? Now, I need to do something about this situation. But if I take, he'll just fix his pawn structure. So maybe I'll push. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's good either. I think I'm going to bring my rook out to here. Does that make any sense? I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Huh. Well, now I can attack that weak pawn with my queen. Let's do that. Let's attack the weak pawn. Plus, I'm adding a guard, another guard to this pawn, which is always nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he, oh, the other thing that happened is he lost the defender of this pawn. He lost one of the defenders. So I can take take with check right and now I can even win this pawn wait is there something better I don't see what's better than winning a free pawn do you let's take it And then I can drop back to here where I'm pretty safe. I'm pretty safe there, guys. Ooh, I can put my bishop here. Put my bishop here and threaten checkmate. He's gonna have to move. He's probably gonna have to move a pawn to defend that. 
So let's do that on my next move. Unless he attacks my queen with his rook. No, okay. He missed that. So I'm going to go here. Wait. If I go here, and then he pushes here, I could also go here, threatening that rook. Which one is he more likely to miss? I could also just push this pawn. Takes away a square from his bishop, two squares from his bishop. I can always do that next move though. Let's do this and then I'm gonna push that pawn. Huh, okay. Yeah, he, he did not miss it. Oh, and now he can attack. Now he can bring his bishop here and attack my queen. Here's a thought. Should I attack his bishop with my bishop? Probably not. Okay, so some things I've just noticed. If I push this pawn, he can take a free pawn. I should have put my bishop here to attack his rook. Oh well, you cannot see them all, guys, right? Um, let's do this. Uh, no, that doesn't seem good. Let's Oh, how about we go here? Wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused, guys. Uh, okay, if he takes that pawn I have to recapture with this pawn. Oh boy, this is a this is a mess. I think I want to get my rook on this open file, but I also want to protect this pawn. Let's get the rook here first. Ah. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. How did that happen? Oh my gosh, guys. Um, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I even thought of that. I was like, oh, now he can bring his... Oh my gosh, what is happening? 
I don't think I can get out of this, can I? I have to move my queen and lose that with an attack on my rook? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just going to be down a piece. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I'm going to stop. This game, I, I was meant to be a short game. I'm losing this game badly now. Yep, I have a major blunder. I'm going to be losing at the end. Let us see. But, um, yeah, I didn't want this game to be so long anyway. At least that's the excuse I'm making. Yeah, see, I was clearly losing at the end. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Unfortunately, I did not play well. Look, I played 80%. I played 80%. That's what I wanted. So I accomplished my goal. No, I didn't. I obviously wanted to win. But I at least didn't play too badly. <laughs> no, I, pl I played badly. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found my blunders, especially that last one. That was embarrassing. If you didn't find it, you need to work on your tactics also. Just like me. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.